so far in this problem of ball plate impact we had defined all the boundary condition contact and section ids now we are going to define the analysis setup settings so basically in the analysis setup settings we need to define end time end time means the time interval for which the analysis is going to take place then binary d3 plot sq plot and in the end we are going to model check so i go to ls dyna i will go to fem model and part go to keyword manager here click on collapse now i will go to the control card inside this control i will go to termination so here you can see termination double click on this in this termination we need to define the time interval for which the analysis is going to take place and by default we are going to take the second units so it means one second click on accept and click done after that we need to define d3 plot so with d3 plot we we see all the stresses displacement etc so that is why it is very important to define the d3 plot card so i will go to this database and here go to binary d3 plot make a double click on this here we need to define the time interval between outputs or we can define number of points now let's understand the meaning of this see for the time interval we are going to solve this problem for 1 second now i am going to tell the software to calculate the specific value at a certain interval of time so let's say from 0 to 1 second i want the software to calculate the different values at 10 steps it means it is going to divide the time into 10 steps and it is going to calculate all the values second is we can define a time interval it means we can define let's say time interval is 0.1 second at each 0.1 second it is going to calculate the values so that is a difference of selecting these values so here either we can specify the time interval or we can specify the number of steps so let's say number of steps i want to define 10 now it is going to show the values between 0 to 1 second at 10 intervals we will understand this in more depth when we will see the results click on accept click on done now if we want to find out the energies of the system we can also define the sky card it is an optional so make a double click on this sky here once again we need to define default dt again this is the time interval means the smallest time interval for which it is going to calculate the values so let's say i want to calculate value at each 0.1 second now here we need to define two cards in this problem since we want to find out the energies of the system one card is gl state that is global state click on this also we need to define the energies of material level so we need to define mat sum so make a check on this mat sum that is material energies we need to only insert these two cards in this problem So if you want to learn more about these cards what are these first i will click on accept and done so once again so once again you can go to the manual inside this manual you can go to database and here you can go to ascii or you can directly search for gl state so let's say i select gl state enter so it means it is going to show the global data and if if you will continue selecting 
so here it is showing so with this gl stat file it is going to calculate kinetic energy and internal energy okay so again you can read about this in the manuals and after that we need to check the model so once everything is done click on collapse all click on model check and after that i will go to keyword check in this keyword check make sure there should be no error highlighting right now it is showing any warning for the section so we can check for the warning if there is any problem so right now over all the inputs are correct i will click on done click on done once again so now everything is selected properly i can go to this file now we need to save this file so go to save as save keyword as browse the location and go to the folder where the ls dyna is installed so i will go to this ball plate impact so i have selected this underscore one underscore two correspond to each a lecture now this is my final file so this is ball plate impact final file i'm going to save this in some older version so if you have any older version you can open up this file click on save now we need to run this i will go to file go to run ls dyna first of all if any older analysis is showing click on this remove first of all we need to select the input click on this browse go to the folder of ball plate impact select this file ball plate impact final and open after that we need to select the solver click on this and when ls dyna has two solver d solver and s solver so i am selecting s solver and then in the expression we need to select this expression here we can define number of cpus according to our com configuration of the computer so my computer has four cpus we can specify any memory to this okay right now i am selecting auto memory here and then click on the symbol of play and start the analysis now we can see analysis has been started so it is not showing any error it means our inputs are correct here it is going to show the estimated time once the analysis is completed it is going to show like normal termination press any key press enter and here you can see analysis is finished so in the next lecture we are going to view the result